What is the roundest thing in the universe? Yeah. No, just saying. Oh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not at all. You should see it. I uh, know. Uh, the roundest <laughs> thing in the universe. Yeah. Ball bearings. Ball bearings are quite round, but they're. Swallowed the ball bearings. Roundest. <laughs> 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 you mean, you mean smoothest, most. Round. Well, the, yeah, the most purely, purely round, in other words. Because if you. Well, the Earth is a uh, thingy, is it squashed? It's not round. Not it's... round. No, that's right, it's an oblate spheroid. <laughs> oh, Nelly <Yeah>. Fatala! <laughs> He's got a word for everything. <laughs> Is it a, 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 a liquid drop, a water drop? They can get jolly round. <laughs> they can be <laughs> very round. <laughs> very nice. We're actually further out of space than Earth, beyond Earth. Is, it's is, a, is it's it, a cosmic phenomenon. Is it a black hole? It's that kind of a deal. Oh, it's mm. those um, uh, space helmets. Those <laughs> big round <laughs> helmets. <laughs> the things on the top. <laughs> is, it, uh, is it the thing called the genius point? Is it the point at which, the, to which everything uh, goes to, ultimately? Not uh, uh, that. It's when a supernova has a gravitational collapse, it turns into something called a... Uh, a neutron a star. No. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's oh, the neutron star. star. Oh, yeah. They're really round. That's not round. No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's a supernova, I think. Not having round, that's a supernova going supernova. Then show us the round thing. Oh. <laughs> 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 He's very upset, aren't you? Yes! <laughs> it's, it only has a diameter of about 15 miles or so, and there, there, there isn't one near enough for you to be able to see it with yeah, the naked eye. Have you ever noticed how we always have to take Stephen's word <laughs> for it? <laughs> but what's interesting is that if I had a thimbleful of a neutron star, it would weigh more than a mountain. Yeah, but you don't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Imagine how confused the old woman darning your socks would be if you had a thimble full of it. <laughs> she was just trying to fix a hole and her <laughs> and there's all space and time coming out with a thimble. That's no way to treat the elderly. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so you put a thimble down and, there, and no one could pick it up. No one, no, no. one at all. And yeah. when you've got a good cleaning well, lady, you want to hang on to them. You don't want to mess <laughs> it around. <laughs> I'm oh, leaving, did. Mr D. Why? Well, because of all this space business with your thimbles. I don't like it. <laughs> it might have double the mass of the sun, but it's, but well. it's only 15 miles across, roughly. And the highest mountain on it is it weighs five millimetres. So it is superbly round. Superb, the highest because, mountain is... As opposed to the Earth, which, although the Earth is jolly round, apart from the flat bits at the top of it, the point about the Earth is it's actually jolly smooth compared to, smooth, say, a, smooth a billiard a, ball. Smoother than a ping-pong ball, isn't Yes, it? now, why is that, that a snooker ball? Or... I'm sorry, I did not know there would be a follow-up question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, why, is the, why is the Earth...? If you were to scale up a snooker ball to the size of the Earth, the mountains and trenches would be hugely greater than our highest mountains or deepest trenches, i.e. the little pits that you can see when you examine a snooker ball closely, if scaled up to the size of the Earth, would be gigantic. So the Earth, in that sense, is smoother than a billiard ball.